The first thing to do when packing up a camper is to pack up the door. Undo the turn buckles down each side of the door. Make sure we do up our millard clips that lock the top half of the door closed. Release the two millard clips at the very top of the door so that it becomes free. Release the Velcro weather seals down each side of the door. Place our hands on the outer of the top half of the door and lift to release. Now we put our protective cushion on top of the door and attach it to the roof using the turnbuckles located on the roof. Next we move our curtains away from the corners of the inside of the camper. Once outside, we can release the bed elastics. Back inside the van, fold our draft skirt under and remove our centre tent pole. The tent end pole will fall down by itself. The same process is used for the rear bed. If we have a shower toilet combo, release the shower ensuite walls with the press studs at the bottom and then release it from the shower wall with the press studs at the bottom and the Velcro on either side. Lastly, lower the shower wall as we exit the van and close the lower part of the cabin door. Now we can fold our tents in towards the middle of the beds. Remove our lower poles and place them underneath the mattress. Once we've done this, take the weight of the bed, slightly lift and slide all the way in until the bed comes to a stop. Then we tuck the canvas on each side in, out of the way of the bed runners, just to keep it inside the van when we pack up. The same process is repeated for the rear bed. Now it's time to remove our weather strips from our riser arms. If we have an aircon support pole, ensure that you remove these first. Now it's time to insert our wind handle so we can start winding down our roof. Typical process is to wind the roof down about halfway, and then walk around tucking the canvas to the inner of the van to make sure that it all falls in as we continue to wind. Repeat this process several times to ensure that the tent is tucked in properly and won't get caught under the edge of the roof of the van as you pack up. Finally, wind the bed all the way down to feel a change in the winch. It will become nice and loose. At this point, stop and check and make sure that the roof is down nice and flat. Sometimes you may have to pull a quarter down gently. Lastly, put your four roof clips on. And give the winch a small turn back, anywhere between a quarter and one maximum turn. Last of all, raise our stabiliser legs.
and stow away. You can now hook up to your van and be on your way.